Self employed. And these are my interviewees. And I'm going to start by asking, what are you your full name? My name is Sister Paulette Marie V.C. And my name is Brother Alvin Glenn V.C. Okay. And which one of your parents or grandparents were members of the old church at 537 West 15th Street, Davenport Island? My parents were Elder and Sister Arthur and Nadine Hazlett. And my parents was the great Marie V.C. along with my father, T.J. V.C. And the members that were at 6 and 1, are they members at PCG now? No, my parents are not currently members of this church now, but they were members at 6 and 1. And my mother was a member at 6 and 1, or 537, but she still is a member even today. Okay. And do you remember any of the times at church at 537 West 15th Street? Yes, I remember some good times, good old days. Having grown up in the church, uh, I can remember being baptized in the podium where they had to remove the pulpit and lift up the cover, and the baptismal pool was down underneath, and we would have to walk down to be baptized. And when I first looked in there, there were bugs and all of that stuff, and I was a little scared, but... Um, it was a wonderful experience, and I can even remember a time when the Spirit and the Holy Ghost was high in the church that we would look up at the beams, and the beams would start to vibrate and just seem like they were just praising the Lord also. Those, so there were some very, very good memories at uh, PCG. And I agree. Uh, two things stand out in my mind. Uh, 1972, April 30th to be exact, uh, I remember over 80 souls got saved on that, on that Sunday, that particular Sunday, and I was numbered in one, that number of 80 uh, that got the Holy Ghost baptized in Jesus' name and got the Holy Ghost that particular Sunday. Another thing that comes to my mind is June 21, 1980, uh, over 28 years ago, if you count it, I got married at that church. And so those are two outstanding things that stands out in my mind. And when did the VCs and the Hazlets come to PCG? Uh, the Hazlet family came in the late 50s, 1950s. And my Aunt Sarah had to be the first VC that came. And then through her witnessing, she was able to get my mom to come. And I think we must have came in the 60s that we came into the church. And is there anything else you would like to add? Um, I would just like to say along with being married in that church, all three of our children were blessed in that church. And um, I can just remember some of the times when we had the old stadium seats and, and they're hard to sit on. So we've come, we've come a long way, but it's still good to remember the old times. And I would just add that if it had not been for the church, Pentecost Church of God has made me a husband, a father, and even just a man, all the teachings that I've gotten from the late Bishop A. Boyd and then also from Bishop Addison and the Brotherhood, this is what really developed me and to being a man. So the church has played a tremendous part in my life and, and I, certainly, I certainly thank God for the church, this church in particular, what it's done for me and my family. Thank you, sister and brother, Lucy.